Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Let's create our debt schedule. Before that, let me take you to the balance sheet. In your balance sheet, you will see that debt is bifurcated into three items. This is current maturities of long term debt, notes payable and third is long term debt. So how much is my total debt? This plus this plus this so this is our total debt right now in the balance sheet this is the detail which you can see if you go to the annual report you will find the bifurcation of debt so what you need to do you need to search with the shortcut with the keyword maturity okay simply find a table which gives you all the details of all the debt items so we are just searching for the table so this is one table definitely we can use this table also to create our debt schedule but this will not be uh, very comprehensive which i want to teach okay so let me search more yes this is the table that we are actually looking for <clears throat> so uh, just one second let me show you the previous one in this table here you will see all the details right right for each notes each debenture i think bond is not there and we also have the interest rates now this is more comprehensive and we have full detail about the debt items and these are all the debt items right now what we need we need to go to excel and here i will be creating my debt schedule so this will be my opening debt and then somewhere here i will have my change in debt and somewhere here i will have my closing debt okay if you want to count how many items do we have to copy from here you can copy you can count and you can count how many rows we have to keep between change in debt and closing debt okay if you want to do it that way you can do that or simply follow the process which i am telling you okay so first of all what we need we need what item it is so it is notes notes debenture okay so what we can do we can simply use the alt button and select this copy come here and paste this okay so this due is coming unnecessarily let me just go back and check okay instead of due i have to write notes notes then we have one more notes we can write it below this is due what it is due this is also notes okay then at last we have something called other if you want to count how many are there you can do that or we can match it with this also simply select this till last copy be careful we don't need to select this dollar copy this come here and paste in 2020 column yes look at this we have copied the line items and the values both correctly so this is actually zero remove this hyphen sign make it zero come back again this time what we need we need these interest rates so okay interest rate is very easy to copy put it here come back now we also need the year in which these notes are due so that like this is 2046 2031 we need them so select okay there will be a mistake let me copy the first five only copy paste change this to only this it's not that every time 
you have to use certain shortcut and the things will become very easy to do not every time okay you just need to make things easier but every time it will not be possible so you have to do it like this with the way i am doing it copy paste copy this paste for the last one which is other there is no due year there is no interest rate given here now what we can do this is year this is amount this is rate and this is item okay now what we have to do actually uh, this should not be written in this way this is in descending order we have to write it in ascending order so what you can do keep the cursor here and go to data tab and here we have ascending order this is descending order this is ascending order so uh, if you want to see if the data is flowing correctly then you can color it like this now come to data tab and sort it a to z just see only this data is changing so what do you want we want all the data should go up and down along with the, because this is a single table these are not two different table so what you can do you can let's say just column whatever now if you sort this this will actually become a single table so select this data tab and make it a to z now just see this data is also flowing with this so this time the data is correct okay if you want to uh, remove this color thing you can simply go here and make it no fill now select this but before you do that let us increase few blank rows between them okay come here and before we do that let's check how much total amount we have total debt is 7373 let's cross check with the balance sheet in the balance sheet total debt is 7475 so there is a difference how much is the difference we can find that it is 102 so actually this particular amount is not considered in the annual report while disclosing the details so this is not included but we will include it otherwise our balance sheet will not match so come here in the schedule and here we can type notes and this amount we will connect with the balance sheet that this is coming from here now what we have to do simply select all of this except this column because this is a closing amount this will not go to change in debt or in opening debt simply copy this only come here and paste it but this will be change in debt not closing debt change in debt now uh, we have to go above again and we need to add few more rows now select this copy we have to select the fourth column also copy and come above and paste it here and here we will type opening date okay now i can delete this column delete this this is change in debt now whatever is the closing of previous year is actually the opening of next year so what we will do we will do the same procedure like we did in the previous video when i was explaining the shorter way of creating the debt schedule where the closing of previous year will become the opening of next year okay and closing of current will come based on the calculation like opening plus change in debt this is the same thing we are going to create again now come in the opening and be careful that when you are connecting you have to connect the opening debt in the first row with the closing debt in the first row so equal to here come down in the previous column and be careful that you take the first data in the closing debt schedule 
that is 102 this is first note be careful of this thing you don't take the upper row or the down row this is very important now you can copy this and paste it here or what you can do you can put in formula again equal to come down this time what we are looking for we are looking for the debt of 2020 which has a interest rate of 4 percent so come down here this one okay 4 percent 2020 second this is actually the second value in the closing debt schedule now you can simply drag this okay and if you want to drag it across the column you can do that the values are going zero because there is no value in the opening because there is no value in the closing so that's the reason next year's opening is zero but when we get the closing values here opening will automatically update because we have linked them now equal to in the first row here in the closing get first value in the opening plus change in debt be careful that you take the first value only which is this there are certain mistakes that you can comment that you can do here you may take you may end up taking the value from previous column or upper column or next year or this next cell you have to take this particular cell which is just next to notes in 2021 column okay now we do the same thing for this also you can copy this and paste it here or you can put the formula again to explain it to you properly i am doing it so take this value plus come down take this value be careful that we are taking both the same thing like 2024 percent 2024 percent control d till now now select this press control r so what we have to do in the next video we actually have to put the formula for this and for this okay this will be the area to borrow debt and this will be the area to repay debt you will understand this when you watch the next video formula is little lengthy to explain and it is little difficult to understand but you have to do it because this will be very helpful if you explain this thing at the time of interview to the recruiter don't just watch the video i'm telling you again and again do it in your excel file also okay if you are just watching the video it is not going to help you if you do it in your excel file you will find it little difficult because when you are watching the video i am uh, spoon feeding you things become easier but when you do it in your excel file things become difficult so please do in your excel file also so that you understand the concept properly okay so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video